Have you ever wondered uh, what it's like to be as free as a bird? Um, I hope to get a um, kind of a bird's eye view of your plots and what you're growing and stuff like that. You know, like them drone shots, you see, but without a drone. What, what would that be like? Well, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. How to do fake drone shots of uh, your plot. And all you're going to need is one of these. Okay? This is, it's like a GoPro. But it's not a GoPro. It's a cheap pro. Because these only cost about, uh, well, we got this a few years ago. And we really got it for doing for attaching onto the handlebars of our bicycles, so we could um, do um, um, our bike trips around wherever we were. Uh, so we've only used it a few times, but I, uh, the idea of um, uh, because Catherine's been cutting down uh, loads of willow and stuff of attaching it to. Um, a long piece of willow and walking around the plot with it seeing what happens it's a bit of an experiment but that's what allotment gardening is all about it's all about trying out new things uh, so um the other day that's what we did these by the way uh, we got this in a local supermarket for about 30 quid a few years ago i think you can get them cheaper now it's like a gopro but it's not it's called escape and uh, it's kind of comes with this uh, waterproof casing which is like this which can open out and there's your camera and it's got a little sim card in the side there and just simple controls like record and um, various focus controls there and that's it that's it uh, nothing special uh, but it's got these fittings and this which can which can film in the rain. Can you imagine that? So I'm going to get some shots in the rain. Um, there are some useful features to these uh, cheap cameras. It's cheap and cheerful, but it gets some fantastic shots with it. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, Catherine's been uh, cutting these long pieces of willow here and uh, just get this one here and show you this uh, I had this idea of basically using a piece of it and attaching this kind of cheapo pro to it it's important that it's got an attachment like this because it makes all the difference to uh, to getting them all important drone shots yeah so if you've got a video vlog like we have or YouTube channel or even just Instagram or anything you can get some fantastic results and use it all year round so it's just a matter of basically screwing that on there there we go um, this is a little video we did a few days ago to show you how it works okay what do you remember of this car um, well, we only did this this week, didn't we? Uh, over the 25th and 27th of January. Um, and you came up with this ingenious idea. Crazy idea. Uh, of making a makeshift drone. Yeah. Well, I got the idea because you were cutting these bloody big willow pieces. <laughs> and I thought, well... But they'll grow again next year, so you'll have more. I know. Uh, this year, sorry. That was a pretty heavy piece of willow to carry that. You can mm. see me. They are heavy. I'm though. walking here very tentatively mm. so I don't drop the camera. They were very heavy. And um, what height? I don't know. What did you say? About, About six, 14 feet. 14, 15 feet, yeah. 16 foot. Something like that. But um, it was kind of, 
I'd, I'd only been doing it about 10 minutes and my hands were freezing. It was cold, we still had snow. Yeah. God, I didn't put any gloves on or anything. But I'm walking around like an old doddery. <laughs> well, the the plot, about that. <laughs> trying to uh trying to balance it and, and not make the canvas shake. So Yeah. Yeah, because Willow's very pliable, it's very bendy, so it will, you know. Mm. But they, they do weigh quite a bit then fellas. Because there's a couple of seasons worth of growing in them. I look like um but doesn't it give a lovely effect of the plot, though? Yeah, it's like a tapestry. Because we, we have got a drone at the moment, but it's... it's it doesn't can't. work. It's old we, technology. It's, it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it does work, but it's just a bit finicky. Yeah. Yeah. But this is quite interesting way and creative yeah. way of doing it, isn't it? Isn't it? And you know what it is? It's that, like, fisheye lens, lens effect. Yeah, yeah. Makes it look higher yes. than it actually yeah. is. What do you think? Mm. I love the way you can uh, pick out the highlights of the shapes of the beds and what yeah. you're growing, and it's uh, it's it's interesting to see it from that. I, I look like I'm carrying the cross of Jesus, <laughs> you know, in them um, walking day parades. <laughs> you know, that's how they look, don't they? I don't even know about that. <laughs> <coughs> we look like like we're in a computer game. <laughs> <laughs> you see them moving around in them open. So what you, now what I, you do? I realised that I had it at the wrong angle, and so I, I thought I'll turn the angle because to adjust it. If you look, you you don't see a drone where someone's carrying the drone. <laughs> so if it, you, now look at that. That looks like it's being carried by. Well, it, no, it doesn't. It looks like a drone now. Mm. A yeah, rather wobbly better. looking drone. But it gives a character, doesn't it? Look at that. But look how it picks up all the snow. It's lovely. And, then, and all the shapes of what what's growing. And yeah. it's it's just seeing the plot from a different angle. Yeah. That different angle. Different that we've never seen it from it? before. Yeah. And it just adds hey, a new dimension. Oh, plot name. His cabbages are looking good there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the pigeons haven't got them there. No, he's covered them, hasn't he? Yeah. You can see the shape of the ponds on our plot now. Um, Here, where yeah. we, you know, we've cleared and they're restoring. Mm. We're still working on that. It's a work in progress, isn't it? Mm. Hopefully ready for when the frogs arrive. So there's the two ponds, which that's about the clearest we've seen them in a good while. I know, while. from an aerial point of view. Yeah. <coughs> I like the top of the bamboo there. The canopy. The thing about this is, it, it you you do get sound from the the um, that action camera, mm. but because of the plastic casing, it's very Muffles muted it. and mm. you know distance, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it looks like grass from the top, doesn't it? You can get that yeah, grass get effect, that nice the, the um, aesthetic the look, architectural, yeah, shape of it. Look at that in the ten four scale, that zone, that that drone kind of <laughs> <laughs> waving around a bit. It's a bit like a tapestry, isn't it? You get a nice feel for it. But you must admit, it's an interesting effect, isn't it? Mm. Well, we can see what we've got growing there. Still the co rabbi and spring cabbage mm. and muncher briar still going. Yeah, it Other looks quite radish. full for this time of this year, This time of it? year, we've got a good, good amount growing, yeah. Mm. Pots don't shut down in winter. It's just it's another growing season. Well, the house has been, crops. been really busy this year. Yeah. And this back area is look, looks like a woodyard. I know. Doesn't it? <laughs> it does. looks like Hansel, At the and, moment. Hansel and Gretel's yeah. woodyard. <laughs> well, they're all sorted now, the willow, and the hazel is now complete yeah. as well. Uh, so they'll need uh, to be put to use. Just to top the apple tree. The greenhouse is looking, looking good. Yeah, that's where we have our cup of teas, isn't it? Yeah, in the greenhouse. And a chola gig. Oh, I. Or an Eccles gig. Or an Eccles gig. Mm -hmm. So we've got the curl rabbi there at the front of the greenhouse. At the back of your head, there. The back of my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the chamomile is in the front, still quite lush. No, you're filming me. Oh, I have to for posterity then. Can't believe your eyes, could you, Kat? But isn't that is it a real something. tapestry effect? It's lovely, not. I like the, the view it gives. 
we can do this throughout the season, can't we? It's the growing season, see how, how Spring it compares. Spring cabbage coming up there. Makes Throw a great, beans. great video diary of mm. what you're growing over the year. Mm. Plot 8, Heaven's Gate. Mm. It's lovely. Mm. I can see some chicken. 360 yeah. degrees. Yeah, on chicory road. Mm. So we've got a fair bit growing. We're still cropping winter greens out of the uh, cold frame. Yeah, the no. Oh, this is where we come that back down to the battery must have had. Other than a real drain which just dropped into the ground. Oh, I know. Come back down to earth. My hands were freezing. I had enough. It was cold that day. Yeah. Mm. I'll do it again though. It's fun, isn't it? To capture it through all seasons. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. But just a little <coughs> action camera that's sitting in the drawer. Yeah, puts it to good use. Yeah. There we go. Push down. Yeah. Cowboy boxes. Oh. No dig. No dig. Yeah. Yeah. Great. See. Uh, this is allotmenteering for you. It's all about experimentation, isn't it? Experiment every day of your life. You never know what's going to happen. You know. Every day's a struggle, isn't it? Every day. Just wouldn't believe what you have to put up with in life. Isn't it? It's weird. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, if you did, Make sure to um, subscribe, um, press the bell icon for notifications of whenever we post videos online, which would be fun. Um, and, you know, uh, comment, leave a comment, because we love to read your comments, you know. Um, it's towards the end of January now, so... And it's a lovely day here today. What I have noticed about the end of January is how the birds are sort of tweeting more and there's more activity. There's more wildlife activity generally, especially on a mild day like today, because today is pretty mild. It's about um, uh, eight degrees, seven degrees, which is, you know, considering it's been below freezing for the last few days, it's really, it's not bad. Um, so, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed these videos, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell icon that tells you, gives you notifications of when we we do videos and stuff. Catherine's lurking. She's stalking through the undergrowth. She's just look at that. She's about to get us banned from YouTube for swearing. Threatening behaviour. <laughs> With a knife. And an owl. Just a knife. <laughs> so this is what I have to put up with. Don't forget the, uh, the cheap pro. <laughs> Escape. 30 quid. 30 quid in a local supermarket. Was it? El Cheapo. It's got no money. Well, we are in the middle of a pandemic. We got this 25 years ago. <laughs> Not quite 25 years that ago. That was expensive then. But it was, it was quite cheap. So you get quite a lot for your money. But... It's not got all the features of growth. Well, why do you want all them features and spend Half hundreds of pounds? You can't even use. No. But you can be quids Only in. For nerds. You'd be quid, quids in with this, right? For nerds. Um, and save yourself a lot of money. And you've, you've, got a, you've got your own personal drone. And you don't even need a license for it. <laughs> so please subscribe, uh, ring the bell, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. We shouldn't have to tell you. And uh, we'll be back with another video. See you soon. Bye now.